I'm not going to be the first one to talk today. It's a vocal exercise. I used to do it in my music class. Yeah. Huh? Try to practice at home. Huh? Huh? The thing is, you raise your voice when you bring your arm up. You can do it while you shake hands. Uh, I kind of lost track of it. <laughs> I'll be the first one to talk. I'm feeling extra zazz, uh, zazzy today. Wow! A little zany. After the show, I'm going to use all my energy. I'm going to be so tired. I'm going to be at my desk because I know I, I had a good time. We did a good show. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the Loom Street Swap Shop. Zach took the day off. Yesterday he's feeling energized. Yep, he sorry I wasn't here yesterday. We did a repeat of our show, but yeah. I need to start using my PTO days. They said, Zach, you're not going to get paid for these. And they don't roll over. I'm for it. Use so them I said, all up. Halloween night, I went out. I, I had a good evening. I stayed out late. I came in, th- woke up Thursday morning, didn't have to go to work. Felt nice. Went for a little Flew hike. to Thailand. Yep. Had one of those one day no laws <laughs> retreats and flew right back. That's it. <sighs> they made you do that with your hand, too? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the William Street Swap Shop. We're excited to have a real good time today. My name is Matt. My name is Zach. Do you want to do? Oh, it's a deal. Okay. It's a deal. We're going to have a good time. People say enough with the handshaking. I've been That's noticing. right. Less handshaking. That shtick is getting old. So we're going to talk. We're going to introduce you to the uh, show. We're going to spend the next hour with you. We're going to yeah. really just guide you through any kind of problems that you may be experiencing uh, at home or in your love loved life. I guess we can talk about this. Uh, we got an interesting email yesterday. Uh, a local nonprofit. Oh, yeah. Asked us to host their annual fundraiser. There's going to be about 450 very influential city people there. How about that? And they're like, you know, just do some icebreakers, warm up the crowd, get people laughing. I know exactly how to do that. And I thought, you sure you want us to do this? (laughs) I'm going to come out walking on stage. Uh, (laughs) Because it's a funny noise. They're going to hear it. Uh, See? I wish I could bring Mace in there to have a soundboard, though, to really accentuate what I say and do. I'm excited to do it, man. I love helping out. I am, too. I'm very happy about it. I love we, being... Yeah. Doing what we're doing here every well, day. Well, that's the part I couldn't say no to, because they do right. great work. Mm-hmm. Ah, but absolutely. I thought about it, and I'm like, are you sure you guys don't want, uh, like, Ludacris or somebody? Yeah. Or T.I. There yeah. are a lot of good people you could pick from. Why do you want us? Even Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Or Toby, about. Toby uh, Alan Jackson. He's from uh, Atlanta. Or Toby Keith. Yep. Or the other, the guy with the hat, Clint Black. <laughs> I apologize for missing yesterday's show. I found out uh, that it was Anthony Kiedis' birthday, and someone thought I was going to be celebrating his birthday for Wandering Wednesday. Maybe next Wednesday for a belated day. How funny would that have been, though, if we said, sent an email out to everyone at work? Hey, come into the Studio B where we do the show every day. We're in the adult swim offices. I know we sometimes say we're in North Georgia. Come into Studio B. We're celebrating Anthony Kiedis' birthday. And people say, what? Anthony, is that a new employee? I guess, like, well, okay, I'll walk down. Yeah. I haven't met him before, but I'll get some cake. And they come in, and we're playing all the, cl- the hits from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We have balloons with his face on them. We have his, a couple copies of his book over there. <laughs> just like any minute Anthony's gonna show up now yeah and we it, we're gonna have a big <laughs> gonna make a big ketus cake we're gonna have a ketus cake in the thing yep. and you know the ketus cake is like a it's like a big cake in the shape of a penicillin bottle that you have to take to uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> tr- treat your STDs well Oh, no. Matt, no, you had to I'm take just, it there. No, you had to, no. I was trying to have a funny... That would be funny where everyone's like... And then 20 minutes into the thing, they're like, so where are we going to sing happy birthday? And be like, any minute now. And then we pull up Skype or something. Hire an Anthony Kiedis impersonator. Sorry, guys, I couldn't be there today, but uh, thanks for celebrating my birthday. 
come get a slice big, of great Kiedis way, cake. Yeah, it would be a great way to celebrate Anthony Kiedis' birthday. No, we we'll probably get picked up Anthony by like Kiedis. Uprocks or something or, or uh, uh, RollingStone.com to probably say, like, can you believe it? William Street Swap Shop celebrated Anthony Kiedis' birthday party today. In a way you won't, exactly. can't possibly imagine. The only birthday celebration for Anthony Kiedis that mattered. And then you click on its 72 slides about the history of Anthony Kiedis, and then on the 72nd, they get to the picture of us doing the party. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to me on Tuesday? If you watch the show every day in the chat room, I see from far from here, I have better vision now. I think the last time you died, we said you'd been replaced by right. Kyle. So then yeah. Kyle died, right. but you were brought back to life. If we had all the special effects budget that like The Walking Dead has, and maybe we could talk to our, our friend Ross about it. I would have, my skin would be like a croissant. It would, I would have like, you know, instead of a werewolf, I'd be turned into a croissant and I'd be flaking off. Like my eye would be falling off while I'm talking. It'd be really disturbing. Instead, I'm just amped up a little bit. Yeah. And I'm back to do the show. That's all that really matters, right? With everybody. Do I have your permission to be back here with everyone to swap with you? And to do and to swap, to have and to hold, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to do unto yourself for as long as I shall swap? I do. I'm a minister now, so I can, t I can actually uh, say that. <laughs> Zach's feeling good. I'm I feeling tell. good, man. It's contagious. Yeah. Good. Did you... Uh, you might have been right. I might have made a little one-way trip, one-day trip to uh, a place that you can get access to things. Oh. What did I do yesterday? Why am I back here without any scratches from the croissant attack? Everyone watched that, the croissanting. Did you like that? Well, people can't stop talking about it. They keep sending emails, bring back the croissanting, right. like just one time a year. That's Sorry. One, that's... <laughs> Next year we'll think nice of something else. Crisp fall air out there. I'm feeling good yeah, too. Me too. Ready to sort of, you know. The weekend is coming up. It's November. Shed the mistakes of my past. Right. Matt, are you participating in um, November? It's where you say no to everything people ask you to do. No. <laughs> good. I'm participating. I'm too much. I'm like the Jim Carrey movie. I'm too much of a yes man. He always is saying yes to things. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then he gets roped into ch helping someone move something. You have a truck? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. That kind of thing. So I'm going to be no November. Hey, Zach, do you want to come out tonight? No. Hey, Zach, do you want to make out? No. Hey, Zach, uh, do you want this free money? No. Do you want this gift card? No. Hell no. <laughs> Sorry, I need, to cal I need to calm down. Relax a little bit. It's been a uh, busy, busy afternoon for us. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm sorry i'll calm i'm calm it's a calming show it should be relaxed we shouldn't be all screaming and yelling and jumping around one thing i i can feel pretty confident i can say about you yeah. in terms of your credentials yes of all the video live video streaming hosts on the internet you're the one who turns down makeouts the most <laughs> i'm not very good at it Well, I wouldn't turn it. Uh, it's just part of November. And then I'll say, but see me in December if you still have a crush on me. Is November the one where you grow out your, uh, <laughs> you grow out your mustache? Yeah. That's and the idea. That was the joke, making fun of it. But then what, do you give it to something afterwards? No. You give your mustache to... Okay, you give your mustache to prostate cancer research. Oh. Oh. You do, I'm sorry. I just shaved my armpits for the Halloween costume. It don't grow up my pits. A lot of things happened during that Halloween episode that we maybe don't need to ever okay, talk about yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Matt. You know, sometimes you have to keep me on course. I'm kind of like, I, I picture this show sometimes as like you're my dad or older brother. You're taking me fishing, yeah. ice fishing to be exact. We're going ice fishing. I have this vision. We're in a pond. Matt cut a hole to go fishing. The hole is this, the uh, computer monitor right now in, in front of you that you're watching. And that's where Matt is putting all the content. 
Uh, I'm with Matt. We're fishing together. The ice starts to break. We hear a break. Do we leave the ice? <laughs> or do we try and catch that sturgeon? It's thick ice. I think a few and cracks Matt are okay. keeps me from slipping and falling in. <clears throat> well, if you really see me in that role, can I offer just a little bit of Halloween costume advice? Yeah. I think it's, if you want to dress like a lady, that's cool. Sure. But you don't have to shave your armpits. Like, that okay. could be part of the fun. Yeah. I wanted to go all, all out. <laughs> now you're like the little brother who teases me at the ice. Why did you shave your armpits to go ice fishing? You didn't need to do it. Well, it's, you, you already have your jacket on. need to shave your pits to go ice fishing. Right. But Matt, uh, I wanted to do it. Why not? I think I like it though because there was a moment where you're like I think you just kind of wanted to feel a little extra pretty. I did. It's just how, how okay. I'm wired, I guess. Yeah. I like ice fishing. My dad took me ice fishing. That's where that story came from. We heard the ice crack and we were out in the middle of it, and I was afraid well, we're gonna fall in, Dad. <laughs> but it was actually I think someone actually we we had trespassed and there were. They were like, sh he, my dad seems to think they were shooting a gun in the sky. Get off my ice. Wait, people own the ice? It was like a lake that used to be behind our house, and we like jumped a fence. Uh. My dad was like, they don't care. It was a big farm. I used to live for a few years on a farm. Or not a farm, but like in the woods. I thought you can't own like water. Is that wrong? Well, it's when it's not when it's not water anymore, it's frozen. Does anybody out there own a lake, and can you give us some ideas of how it feels when somebody trespasses on your frozen ice? That's a good 12. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Nine six one four two six three. That's a good 12-hole game to do a frozen... Uh, you go fishing as Elsa, my character of Elsa from Frozen, and there's all there's 12 whole ice fishing holes, and you have to fish in each one, and you get a fish in some, or you get hypothermia in another one. <laughs> and then you have to be sincere with the hypothermia. You have to actually go outside and stay outside for a while. No, you shouldn't do it because someone might listen and actually do it. Right. But say actually go outside for like an hour without a jacket on if you live in a northern <coughs> state. If we just like right now say, hey, everything we say on the show, we don't, it's all, you know, yeah, like some take a disclaimer. it literally, yeah. do it at your own risk, etc. If we say that once, then are we covered for every other time? Yeah. Okay. Legally speaking. Some interesting swaps coming through today. I think we should look at some of those. Okay. One of off, my off, off and running. Yeah. We got a backlog. Ever since we uh, announced SwapCoin, people are, hey, I want to be a part of this successful uh, internet swapping show. It's actually interesting. Uh, there's an app called Telegram. I have a group of friends in there that I communicate. I didn't want to name it this, but someone else, I think Alice, wanted to call it Zach on Demand, Z-O-D. You can find it in there. It's just a way to chat with our friends who are, are uh, viewers of William Street Swap Shop. Someone posted a link to a, a swap coin in there. It's already active, but it's not ours. We didn't do it. Oh. We probably shouldn't even talk about it, but it's on the crypto. It's a swap coin, and it has a, a money value. I guess Someone's we say adding. we're not affiliated. We're not with affiliated with it. Don't spend your money because our swap coin will not cost money. With two Ps. Right. The or we're going to have to figure out how to extra. shut them down. I don't know if someone saw the episode and jumped on immediately. We got to make this swap coin or it already existed, but we'll figure it out. I just wanted to give you a heads up. A public service announcement. Do not purchase that coin unless you want to on your own time, but it's not affiliated with us. That's it. Can, will you trust me? Have you been taking those diet mm. pills again? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Will you trust us? I'm sound and sober, Matt. 100% mindful of the... Uh, I'm trying to warn people not to spend their money on stuff they don't want to... Don't spend your money on that. Save it. Swapcoin is free. This is free entertainment. Hey, what are you doing uh, tomorrow night, Matt? You going to take your friend, college friend out for drinks? Sure, that's going to cost a little bit of money. Why don't you just, hey, you want to come over and watch a streaming show and gamble, well, not gamble, go on Swapcoin, Crypto Pub? It's free. When I met Zach, uh, when he was a teenager, he was, it's not funny, but he was hooked on diet pills. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not true. And every once in a while when he starts getting real chatty and re real <laughs> manic, I'm like, are you 
you're not back on the diet. I'm just trying to give it my all today, Matt. Some days, yeah, it's nice to be relaxed and kick back and settle down. But Swap Shop, like everyone's human behavior and personality, it changes every day. We're not fake characters. We're real. We go through emotions. Sometimes we... I've cried on here before. Sometimes like you get... You know, you get touched by a certain emotion. <laughs> How soon? I'm not going to cry now, but you get touched by an emotion. And you, that's your life. I mean, some men are in embodiments of that. I like it. It's fun. I'm grateful that we get to be here with our friends, people who are hardworking, creative individuals here in the studio, and the people who are friends who watch the show, who enjoy, who tune in. What do we have to offer that you want? Swaps. And, uh... <laughs> it's not your... Make fun of me. I like it. It's good. Laugh at me. I like it. Jesus, heck. <laughs> no, no, I mean, not make fun of me like that, but, you know, laugh at... Like, we're here for, for, for people to laugh at. Or, I don't know, I want people to smile. <laughs> smile. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> awesome. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry, I went down a rabbit hole. But, uh, you know... I don't want to have this vision of Grandoise, like, oh, wow, this is, you know, the swap shop. You need this. It's fun, you know. I just want people to be, uh, if this is what they, hey, there's a lot of options to choose from. And if this is what they want to choose, then uh, that's cool. <laughs> I think it was, uh, I think David Letterman once, he, he, in his old show, he walked the television out. And he said, what else is on while he's doing his show? So he's like, what else can we watch on TV right now? Makes sense. There's a lot of options. You have a lot of choices to tune in. I'm very grateful that you are. Even if you have this in another tab and you're looking at something else, you're reading an article or uh, where am I looking at? <laughs> Even if you're reading an article or you're, you're reviewing something, looking at a movie trailer, you have our volume turned down. Uh... I know that you chose. There's a lot of choices. <laughs> so we ramble. I talk a lot. Things might not make sense sometimes because they don't make sense to me. But I think in the end, it makes me feel good. And I think it makes Matt hopefully feel good. I don't think he feels good right now. I think he left the room to go get sick. Matt just left to go <laughs> Matt just le uh, left to go vomit. <laughs> I mean, I was, I just keep, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you just have to remember. Uh, love, really, it's about yourself, treating yourself with love and respect and kindness. And uh, and once you can feel that love for yourself, then you can start uh, giving it to other people. But if you don't really love yourself, it's hard to do it for other people. And then uh, it makes sense to just kind of sit uh -huh. back, relax, and be a part of the, the ride, the uh -huh. journey. Mm -hmm. It is. It makes sense. Pets, animals, internet shows, television shows, things like that that make you feel warm and welcomed. Mm -hmm. Help you kind of escape the, you know, the daily things in your life mm. <laughs> Do you want yeah then uh, that's it that's all I wanted to say actually for today we can take some calls if you'd like to call in uh, you're always welcome to call in and chat that's the most important thing we like to talk with everybody everyone's welcome especially if you've never called before I'd like to see you and talk with you but if you don't want to call, you're too shy, I understand. You can email us at williams.swap at gmail.com. Mm. <laughs> Our number is 413-961-4263. I'm standing by. I'm ready to take your call. Anything you want to discuss, you're more than welcome to call. I like to be alone. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I like to be alone. That was me, yeah. I do, I do sometimes. I invited someone uh, to see a movie. I said, hey, do you want to go see a movie? And they never wrote back. So I'm going to go see it alone. Well, 
I think that's valid. You could have left that going, Matt. I enjoy this. This is kind of nice. It's just like I confess, I confess all of the things that your thoughts. Left what going? Oh. <laughs> William Street Swap Shop. We're going to take a look at some items that are up for swap yeah, and maybe absolutely. connect some people together with okay. each other. Oh, okay. here's a phone call. Welcome. You're on the William Street Swap Shop. How Hello. You... Hello. How you doing? Hey. Pretty good. Pretty good, Matt. Uh, what's... Are you dressed yet or are you still in your PJs? <clears throat> no, I'm dressed. Okay. At work or at home? I'm home. Uh, it's Johnny, by the way. Hey, hey Johnny. Johnny. Johnny Dreams. Johnny Dreams. Johnny Dreams. From the west side, right? The southwest Florida, yes. Oh, right. Hello. That's how they say uh, What are we talking? Well, we don't really talk about anything. Before, I was just saying you're welcome to call in and talk about anything you want. That's what this is. We're here every day with you. We're looking at items, but then, uh, you know, sometimes I get lost in thought. Johnny Dreams has kind of a mysterious, mysterious tone to his voice. Hmm. Do well, you have I'm a... calling to see if the zombie DNA is still available. Oh, the zombie DNA necklace. Yeah. Right? Yes. yes yeah, yes, that's yes. still available. I think so, yeah. Absolutely. I'll email and, uh, try to secure the swap what do you want to swap for it yeah we're actually the swap uh estate holders for the zombie dna uh made by geek outlet in our chat who just visited right. here is that here did she leave that I, I believe so yeah there there it is yeah it's uh yeah we had a lovely afternoon with her she came to the studio that's right and i've held these in my hand and i can i can assure you they're very much real and you better not, not computer generated break them because if you do that, it's going to cause a huge catastrophe on our hands. I have some homemade stuff I can uh, trade in exchange. I have a nice tray I made from a business called Fracture. Okay. Nice. Like a TV tray? I like to watch? It's a glass tray. Oh, cool. Oh. With a custom image. Fracture takes your images and prints them underneath glass. Oh, cool. Did they pay you to call us and say that? Yes, I'm a, um, I'm a brand ambassador, yes. Okay. okay. That's okay. Yeah. We accept that. Yeah. It's understandable. Let me ask you this. Is, the, is it the glass etched with a laser or with a traditional cutting tool? Yeah, laser printer. Nice. How much well, money is it? You have a nice rest of the day. Yeah, no. Oh. Pull out your. Can you take Thank your you. wallet out real quick and make the sound of you taking it out of your pocket? Do you want to do this with me real quick? Yeah, I got it. Okay. And now, can you tell me how many, how much cash is in your wallet? But before you answer, okay. I'm gonna predict how much is in there. How the heck are you gonna do that? There is. Fourteen dollars in your wallet. Uh, I'm employed. I had five hundred and forty over ha over Halloween, Whoa. but now what? I only got a hundred. Wait, you had five hundred forty. Five hundred forty. In cash, yeah. Are you a stripper? <laughs> and no, I I no, I, I work for a legitimate company. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it makes sense. Though. A lot of people don't. I would have, My answer would have been zero. I don't have any cash because it's all on my card. I use swap pay. Five hundred. You are you. Exactly. You literally have five hundred and forty dollars in your wallet right now. No, I had five hundred and forty dollars over Halloween, but I spent most of it. I only have about like one hundred and eighty dollars wow. on me now. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you went out on Halloween with a bunch of cash and spent three hundred and sixty dollars of cash on Halloween at a mostly on yeah, at a at a Halloween store, mostly on uh, decorations. And Ooh, epic. Uh, right on. That's the, yeah, absolutely. We have a friend here at our work. I don't know if you're familiar with other streams, but Eddie Ray, who 
uh, has been on other shows, Assembly Line most recently, and he did the voice of Sonny, uh, the shark, and he loves Halloween. He would love to hear that, that you spend that much money. You kept the spirit of Halloween alive. Yeah. It's good. Good thing you didn't spend it on anything, uh, you know, uh, Maleficent. They say when you're buying Halloween decorations, always pay cash. That way the yep. government can't keep track of what kind <laughs> of spooky stuff you're yeah. into. What are they buying? Ghouls? You're gonna, here's a police detective. Ghouls, goblins, zombies. We got zombie bones. This guy's into all kinds of that. sick stuff. And then me, Ghouls, I'm thinking, goblins, like, wow, I haven't been on the streets in a while. Skeezers, weezers, right. is that like a new drug? Weezers. Losers, the junkies, the <laughs> yep. flunkies, the hard, yeah. You calling in asking for zombie DNA almost makes me think, like, wait, I know we have the item for swap, but is zombie DNA something else? Yeah, I'm a little worried about the monster squad. Yeah. Zombie, zombie. What are you going to do with like the... Zombie DNA could be like, uh, Molly. A strand of, of Molly. I'm looking for what that zombie do? DNA. What's Molly? What what's what's Molly? <laughs> I don't know. I've just heard of zombie DNA. It give, it makes you feel good before you have to go to work. Well, I would never break the necklace. Oh, good. Nice. I believe it's just zombie DNA in for entertainment purposes. Uh, I don't okay. believe there's Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's literal zombie DNA in there. We don't endorse people doing drugs. Johnny, are you on your? Are you? I gotta go, but oh, oh. no, we. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I scared him away. Or thank you for your call, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. We always appreciate you calling in. I believe he called not too long ago. We talked about. Yeah. I like the, I like the tone of his voice. Yeah. He's very matter of fact. Yeah. We started to look at that item. We never quite talked oh, yeah. about it. It looked like a D to the M, D to the M comics. Yeah. Oh, D the M. Dennis, the D the M sounds, could be many things. Um, look, it's a big stack of Dennis the Menace comics. Being swapped by our good friend Zach. Are you getting bullied at school? Find the old attic area where no one can bother you. Get the key from the janitor who feels bad for you. Get up there with this stack of Dennis the Menace books. Let it rain real hard on the roof above you. Dig into vintage, vintage comedy that withstands the test of time. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> bad news. <laughs> you got a new neighbor. <laughs> and he does not he does not respect authority. Dennis! I was a blonde boy, and then people every once in a while would think they were real clever, saying, oh, just like Dennis the Menace. We got a real Dennis the Menace over here. I'm going to skateboard Dennis the Menace. No. I don't have anything in common with Dennis the Menace. When I was a kid one time, I had a uh, The Doors Jim Morrison t-shirt on, and an older person said, look at you wearing The Doors t-shirt. You think you know about the... Who, you don't even probably know who that is, I bet. And I said, well, duh, the internet's around. I know who this is. You probably don't. And then I got, but then I had to calm, had to cool off. <laughs> I used to be kind of, you know, sometimes I get upset. He's, uh, so you have to learn to deal, to, to relax. But I think, yeah, the internet's around. Of course I know who Jim Morrison is. <laughs> Here's what I like about all dropped. <laughs> Here's what I like about this <laughs> item. Yeah, what, what do you like? It's I like the stack. It's a big stack. It's a big stack. Look at how freshly vacuumed the carpet is. It's a clean. <laughs> it's been in a clean, non-smoking household. That's right. You can tell. Oh, and look which one they got way down there. It's Dennis the Menace, pocket full of fun, number Ooh. thirty-six. That was the one where he tries to start his own line of men's clothing. You know what's great about this too is if you give this whole stack away, if you swap for all these, you can wrap this up ready for a birthday gift. When you walk into the house, it's heavy. What in the heck is that big, tall? Did you wrap up a chimney? And then you say, no, I know how much you love having a fire in your house, but you, this is the Dennis. You open it, and you'll find out. And then they open it up. It's like, yeah, I mean, Dennis, they go through each one. Now look at them all. Watch them all. Take them. Scr scroll it all. Yep. There's a lot of Dennis the Menace books in there. Keep you occupied on a long car ride. <clears throat> Classic Dennis the Menace plot, Mr. Wilson says, Hey, Dennis, I'm having trouble with my garden hose. Could you come over here and help me 
find where the clog is. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, why don't I look at the at the end of this garden hose <laughs> and see if I can see where the clog is? I tell you what, real gently, can you just turn the water on just real slow while I look into the open end of this hose? Guess what Dennis the Menace does? I thought he already had it like snake. He had, had it clenched, so then he just lets it go, and then it poosh, like shoots out. Yeah. It was a fun comic. It kept me, uh, it was my friend for many years while I was <laughs> being picked on. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Matt. Why am I right above Mr. Wilson's? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm giving him CPR. <laughs> You're going to be okay. <laughs> What's the word uh, when something is prone yep. position? You get that a lot on Swap Shop, Matt. Groin area. A lot of groin things happen to you. I think it's Jay's way of getting revenge on me for being curt with him in my office. <laughs> Which I said, it's just a time thing. It's not a rude thing. Right? Yeah. There's young Matt holding the welcome mat. Oh, that's it. That's you. Welcome Matt. That's what you should have been for Halloween. <laughs> it's a Rebus puzzle if you put me next to it. It's, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. A rebus. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I thought it was like you just yeah, you put two pictures like what does this spell out? <coughs> you know the guy who played Dennis the Menace in the comic book ended up murdering a bunch of people. Oh my goodness. Huh. <laughs> I well, don't want to That's in a, on a uh, unacceptable. For real? Yeah, oh. the guy who played him in the in oh. the in the comic book. Oh, he's in jail still. Oh, the, the character. Cocktail, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, if you'd like to swap for these, this is a, a whole a plethora. The a shipping plethora of the Menace. and as always, the shipping is the responsibility of the sender. So this That's is a right. big box O comics, but it's media One, rate, two, which is cheaper. Three. He can That's send it out there too. That's you. right. There's at least probably, I'm already counting a dozen right now, and we've only gone on a fourth of it, so there's probably at least three or four dozen Dennis the Menace comics on this collection. So, uh, swap It Up says Mr. Wilson has C-Toe, which we all know stands for Cranky Old Man Toe. Oh, really? Wait, how do they spell it? C-Toe. Oh. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it now. Ah. <laughs> Cranky little man. So, hi, welcome <coughs> to the Loom Street Swap Shop. Come on. You're always welcome here. Come on. Hi, thank you. This hey. isn't like a gang. We're not initiating you or anything like that. You're welcome to step you on. You can leave. Hey, Yeah. you can leave whenever, whenever you, you like. Want. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to wait for us to say goodbye. You can leave. I want to stay, though. Uh, okay. Well, if You're you welcome. guys have time to help me with a personal problem. That's what okay. we're here for. Hopefully we can. Okay. So... I have had a bed for 10 plus years, very uncomfortable, okay. had me, you know, in back pain and stuff. Yeah. And now I just bought a new mattress and it's so comfortable that I can't wake up on time for anything. I just never want to get up out of it. So do you have like a nice way that I could possibly make my new mattress like just a little bit less comfortable or something like that? I would suggest sand. Sand in what way? Just sand it up. Go play in uh, at the beach and then don't change your clothes and sleep in it one night. I'll get enough sand in there to make it 10% less comfortable. Do you have a roommate? I have a wife. Okay. Mate. Maybe uh, ask your wife, like, put heat some hot water up and put it next to the, put my hand in it next to the bed. And then you almost will wet the bed, but you'll wake up and be like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. And that will get you out of bed in the morning. Well, I already do that just by drinking a lot before I go to bed. Okay. And and I wake up at the wrong time whenever I do that. Oh. Too early. Huh. Could you ask your wife... Here's an idea. Okay. Ask your wife to find old pictures of you on social media, maybe 10 to 12 years ago. And okay. then as you sleep in the morning, just slowly increase the brightness on an old picture of your face. Bright, 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 until it's so bright it wakes you up. And then you are like, am I looking? Am I dying? 
because I'm my life is right. flashing in front of my eyes. <laughs> you, and then you'll be up for the day. Wow. Yeah. Or you'll get also woken up by the noise it makes when it can't get any more brighter when it's the yeah clunk yeah clunk 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 oh yeah yeah what the heck is that you wake up you're awake there's your life before your eyes and then your wife is before your eyes my whole wife flashed before my eyes yeah what kind of mattress is the new one can I ask? It's a, it's one of those foam ones. It's really, really nice. I'm in the market for getting a new mattress, actually. I think I'm going to get one t on Saturday. I'm going to go pick it up from a friend. Because my mattress right now, anytime I move in it, it's... it's That's just me by myself. Yeah, and it's really noisy. You want to try and get a mattress that's a little more quiet. Who are you in there with, Zach? No, it's just me by myself. But my mattress is just singing... It's like if it was a Disney movie, the mat like Beauty and the Beast, where the, the lamp is singing, all the, the clock is singing, my mattress is in there just dancing. <laughs> it's not like that. No, it's like, like when I was, even when I turn sides, and my dog is sleeping and he wakes up and turns and looks at me like, what the heck? Why? Can I ask doing? an honest question? Yeah. Are you in there in your bedroom alone on your mattress moving around a bunch? No. Often? No. I'm sleeping. I toss and turn a lot, though. Did I hear you say you're going to pick up a new mattress from your friend? Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Is, I was going to buy a new one, but they said, someone said someone said they're getting a new mattress. I think Their parents it. are wealthy, so that means the old mattress is probably really nice. So I should get that one. It's a little bit better than the one I currently have. They say you got to get a new mattress like every seven years. Are you getting it for free? I think so, yeah. Well, we can't beat that, I guess. Should I do anything, I guess? To, I guess I'll look, o look over it for bugs. But even those, yeah, you can't see with your bug. eye all the time. You gotta wipe it down with vinegar yeah. solution. Just dip it like a, a flea bath for your bed. Get a big car wash <laughs> sponge, one of those big car wash sponge. Yeah. Get it, douse it in vinegar, and then wipe over the whole <laughs> mattress. Could you imagine if your mattress is soaked with it though? When you go to lie down, it's just it's like sleeping on a wet sponge, and then it just seeps through. <laughs> But I'd probably wake up and my skin would look great because I know they say if you, if, uh, that does wonders for your wrinkles. At the compound, that's, what, that's how you are awoken every morning. Here's what we need to it's figure out, gentle Matt, and uh, our scratch. friend on the phone. Yes. We need to, when we do, if we ever get another chance to work with our consumer marketing team again to do another promotion, we need to ask. We, we got our suits from this, the uh, one we did over the summer. We need to ask, hey, we think it would be a really great idea if we like had two mattresses. Uh huh. Like nice certifone mattresses. Yeah. Fill out your apartment with stuff you need. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then there'll be a Wikipedia page about it, Zach, how he acquired everything. Yeah. yeah. Everything he owns is from working on. And it's kind of partially oh. true. I got breaking news. Okay. Well, we'll save that for later. Okay. But that would be cool if we did get a mattress. The promo could be something interesting. It could be a talking mattress. It's like, Matt, you need to go to bed and stop watching William Street Swap Shop late at night time. I say, yeah, it's on at 1 p.m. Eastern time. You don't need to stay up late to watch the rerun. Skip school or work. Call in sick for an hour. Caller, well, tell me your thanks name a lot. again. Oh, that would <laughs> yeah, help. This is, this, is, this is Tyler. Hey, oh, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Sorry, I've been ranting and raving a little bit. I've been talking a lot. I just got a case of the uh, ants in my pants. Uh, <laughs> well, I hope that we helped with your... I, I, I don't know if we gave great advice, but it was some advice, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried I wouldn't be able to sleep at all if I covered the bed in sand, but I'll give it a try. Honestly, what I do is if you have any windows in your room, I just go to bed and don't black out the windows. A lot of people do want all pure black. I, I keep get used to sleeping with your windows open, so if you have street lights ambient light let it come into your room you'll get used to it but then in the morning you wake up the sunrise with the sun rising and it wakes you up naturally you're like oh wow it's bright and it's like 7 a.m you're wide awake you can start the day mm -hmm. is that you that did that or was that our that was me i was oh, doing okay. an exact replica oh, okay yeah, yeah you do Sorry. it and then i'll do it and then the recording will do it okay so yeah you can so tyler can you say mm -hmm, to zach again mm-hmm mm-hmm Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why did you Is go? Is that a, a triple mm-hmm? Oh, oh, yeah. What do you want to do with that? Oh. I don't know. I think he got hit by a car. That's what I had heard. What? I had just heard when I... he. No, he didn't get hit by a car. He's somewhere around He's here. He's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's actually in a meeting with the Atlanta, Gw the Gwinnett County Br uh, Braves, with our minor league baseball team. He's meeting with them. They're trying to get him, bring him out to be a the Gwinnett uh, County Triple Crown. The yeah. They're going to lose the the Brave franchise. Yeah, the Gwinnett County Triple Crown. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be a great sports song, the Triple Trout song. Yeah, yeah. Team, Them come right. uh, you know, logo, mascot. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture everybody in the audience, They instead, instead of doing the wave, they're, <laughs> that's what they do. Triple Trout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. I would like to see that if I was at a game, a baseball game. Most uh, You should just start doing it. Not a bad idea, yeah, maybe. Have Mason hack into the sports sound booth. That's a good idea. Just play it. Yeah. <laughs> Mason does kind of have a resemblance to the character from Mr. Robot, I always thought. So yeah. Mason might be able to hack as like that character as well. Look at him. He's ready to hack into the, yeah. the stadium. <laughs> Let's okay. get a, yeah, we can get a shot at Mason and see what... <laughs> Wait, put your hood let on. Us know you in, put let your us hood know in the chat. Really is, this, is this Mr. Robot? <laughs> Kind of looks like him. <laughs> I think so. Mr. Robot doesn't have as much facial hair, but he kind of... Similar bone Absolutely. structure. Yeah, he's hacking into the <laughs> Brave Stadium right now. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look at him just hacking away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Tyler, thank you for calling Yeah, Tyler, us. thanks. Good luck. Hey, that's, good luck with your mattress. I'll try to like come up with something problem. better. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, that's a I'm good problem jealous of you. I don't want you to yeah. have less less good sleep. I love those mattresses. Those nice mattresses. Like at a hotel. Find the worst ringtone on the iPhone. The one that's like, you know, a waterfall. For yeah. some reason, that's one I always use because I think it'll be soothing and it's what I associate with waking up in a panic yeah. in a hotel room. <laughs> I just want. I just noticed Jay in the background when Mason's on screen and he just is creeping. <laughs> and he doesn't want to show his face on screen. He's turning around. Hey, we talk. Actually, I wanted to say this. We talk a lot about creeps lately. And I went and got a piece of pizza yesterday. And I. Oh. Uh oh. Did Dennis, Dennis upset about something? Yeah, Dennis. Oh, okay. Is not. I went and got a piece of pizza, and uh, <laughs> on the back of the little, you know, when they give you the card to like come out and bring the thing to your table to know yeah. what you at, sit on the back of the card, it said creeps. Or something creep, and I'm like, yeah, I thought I was like like, maybe Fellini's. that person, yeah, because yeah. I thought I've, I've gone there, you know, quite a bit. I live next to it. <laughs> I thought maybe kidding. she's like, you know, you're kind of a creep. You always come here with your cocker spaniel and sit by yourself and talk to him. No, I said I like to be alone. They like you there. No, I think so, but I don't know. I thought I about like it. To be alone. I got self-conscious. But thanks for it's your yeah. ex extra creepy and use it as viral marketing for the creep Ooh. tales of the creep. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your advice, guys. Yeah, yeah no problem. Good luck, with your, good luck bed. with your bed. Yeah, wake up early. You don't want to be late. I think we should do. Uh, I wanted to get to this. Can we? What was the breaking news? Or is that? Well, I'll save it for okay. the twelve. Okay. 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 Um. Well, oh, you know what? Let's do. I we got a potential swap. That's semi breaking news. Okay. Yeah. Do we have that uh, ready to go? We've got one item offered for another item it's a it's a concept we call potential swap yeah we haven't seen one in a while i'm going to show that to you today So if you're having trouble seeing this, we the Led Zeppelin tapestry we've seen that is offered by Rob. Yeah. Well, what he is got an offer. Yeah, we're gonna zoom in there. That is. Computer, please enhance. It's not a seal. It is a. Is that what I think? Replica it is? sword, or is a real sword? Wow. Looks like they've been shooting some sort of deer <laughs> replica too. So this is. Uh, this is the world is wide open. It's full of all different kinds of people. Yeah. It's an interesting misdirection, though, that they're offering up a sword. They don't need the sword anymore now that they have a firearm. Right. This is Will, and he says, Hey, guys, I would love to offer up this sword. I'm not I'm making oh, this okay. up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to offer up this sword. Don't need it anymore, as I have purchased a BB gun to shoot deer replicas with. Here's the sword. It's totally chill. Yeah. Thanks, Will. 
So Rob, with the Led Zeppelin tapestry, you gotta let us know. Yeah, this is kind of a nice swap. It's like a myth, mystic, mythical. Yeah. Because Led Zeppelin loves to sing about like The Hobbit and those sorts of things, so it's kind of like. And Jimmy Page, for like seven years, only played his guitar with a sword. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> Wasn't that on Cashmere? He plays yeah. his guitar with a sword. Yeah. And then Robert Plant is like, Jimmy, you need to stop breaking the strings with the sword. You keep cutting the strings. Yeah, Their budget, the band manager is like, we have so much money spent on dang guitar I'm guitar not even strings. Pull up a little, pull, pull up a little YouTube computer of Jimmy Page Cashmere. And then you're gonna see he plays, he literally plays the guitar with a sword. Just show us like three quick seconds of it. Just, yeah. This really is a symmetrical. I thought that you were just making that up. No. Okay. That's how we got to, that's how we got the nickname Swordsman of the, of, of rock. <laughs> I thought he played it with an axe and that's why they call guitars axes. And then the string breaks. <laughs> And Every the band manager's in the background. Oh, another this string. Guitar tech. They called him the Swordsman of Rock, and he played Cashmere with the sword. It's a neat potential swap. We're excited about it. Yeah. So it's up to Rob. This is being proposed by Will. So it's up to Rob with the Led Zeppelin tapestry to let him know, yes, it's a deal. And you can do that by writing us in williams.swap at gmail.com or writing in the chat room. Adultsum.com slash video slash streams if you're watching this on a mobile device. <coughs> it's okay if we can't find the clip. We'll show it Okay, later. yeah. Um, that makes sense if we can't. Yeah, if we can't find it, you can. I'll, I'll post it somewhere uh, in, my, in, the, in the ZOD chat. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes I know it's coming and it throws me off yeah, when there's like 15 seconds. Yeah. It's the 12th hole. There's 12 minutes left. Matt has some important news to share. made it to the 12 hole that's me being jealous that i didn't have a bust <laughs> i know i don't care i'm happy with it See, so more of matt less of me the big news we got over my earpiece was that we have a successful swap oh wow Do we talk about that now fascinating we can throw that up there i guess okay successful swap what were the two things Oh, here we go. Oh, Yabos. Clint. Yabos. Okay. <gasps> Look, you guys. <gasps> Hi, Matt. Oh, Hi, Zach. Are we going to read this together? Yeah. I'm, I'm writing to, to proudly, proudly announce that, that Viskster and, and I have, have agreed to swap my UK Swap Shop 45 record for, for his, his cat, cat Stevens LP. It's, it's a, a deal. deal. Perfect emoji use. Tips up. Tips up. Clint. Swap it up. Those are two all stars oh and making it happen. That's right. So tomorrow we'll have a animation to celebrate. Okay, that. that's right. We spend a lot of money to make a, a successful swap when a deal is made. The handshakes are made. I think I, we can say it's a deal then together. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, Visk and uh, Clint. Also going to swap it up, it's keeping the swap dream alive. It's a deal. It's a deal. I guess we owe them a swap promissory note now. Swap oh, coin right. promissory note. Them, you guys both get swap coin promissory notes. So make sure until we, we release the real swap coin. Yeah. <coughs> it's great. Congratulations, you two. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a little, it's kind of like getting married. Well, we got to get right to this. Okay. We have a very exciting 12 hole today. Yes. We were told in very stern terms that today's show had to end promptly if right. not early because I'm always dilly dialing but I thought that the email this is from our, our producer Dania she does wonderful work for the network that's right it was very forceful and I, I thought it almost had an air of drama to it yeah so um, we're going to perform the email and the name of this one act play I call this is a little bit of an indulgence for me because I have a little theater background okay sure I'm calling this one act drama 
Blitz and Trapper will be in at two. <laughs> Everybody be seated. Everyone, please take your seats. Thank you. The orchestra is tuning up, and we... I guess you, this is your sh sh play. I'm, I yeah, leave. you can do it. We're going to take turns. Oh, okay. We're going to audition yeah. different people for the okay. lead role. I'll do it to get... <clears throat> Two. Everyone. Swap must clear the room immediately tomorrow. Blitzen Trapper will be in there at 2 p.m. for a 3 p.m. live Fish Center live show. You must all pitch in and make this happen. If Swap needs to end early or go to Digero, that would be ideal. Any pre-work that can be done, can you zoom in here a little bit, computer? I want to emphasize the caps. Before Swap, and after stupid morning bull stuff that would make this transition smoother needs to be done. Interns! <laughs> Green room needs to be wiped down and vacuumed. We may need to go to Target and buy a new vac. Gift bags are in my office. I have a few new premiums we can use. See before 1.30 to get bags ready. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I have a question. So we will have to We're supposed to, to end be... early, but here we are still uh, d in around in the studio. Right. I guess we can start packing up then while we read the play, yeah, right? This is, we were, I forgot we were supposed to be. Yeah tearing down the, the shop as we went today. So we thank you all for watching. Thank you so much. We want to make sure we uh, get out of here. Well, you got to fold it up, Zach. Oh. Sorry. Does anyone else want to take a stab at reading the email? Yeah. Callers? Why Jenny, why don't you read it? You've got a nice voice. Come on out here. We're going to... Make sure you put emphasis on the big words, though. <laughs> Sorry I didn't fold it up. Is your headphone long enough? Here, do you want to use mine? I don't need mine. Maybe we put some, like, an echo effect on this or something, so an infinite loop of this email. You'll be auditioning now for the role of the okay. email sender. Here we go. Should I read the title? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Blitz and Trapper will be in B at 2 p.m. on the dot. Swap must clear the room immediately tomorrow. Blitz and Trapper will be in there at 2 p.m. for a 3 p.m. live Fish Center live show. You must all pitch in and make this happen. If Swap needs to end early or go to DeGero, that would be ideal. Any pre work that can be done before Swap and after Stupid Morning Bull stuff. That would make this transition smoother. It needs to be done. Interns. Green room needs to be wiped down and vacuumed. We may need to go to Target and buy a new vac. Gift bags are in my office. I have a few new premiums we can use. See before 1.30 p.m. to get bags ready. Thanks. What the hell is this, Zach? Daniel Veen, senior producer. AS Digital. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very nicely done. Thank you so much, Jenny. That was great. Anyone else want to read one? Alexa, it's her turn. Alexa's a great you. part of the team. <laughs> we're, I promise, we're Daniel, we're going to get out and you guys can move in, okay. but we are, we're performing the theater. I'm cleaning up. We'll move the chair, table out now. Looking. 
Can you bring something to this? Uh, really bring some intensity to this if you... I'm going to be the theater director. All right. This is... Everything's on the line here on this one. Swap must clear the room immediately tomorrow. Blitz and Trapper will be here at 2 for a 3 p.m. Is this intense enough? Yeah, you're I'm doing just great. just translating that to just yelling. Okay. That's not in the email. Stick <laughs> to the email. A 3 p.m. live Fish Center live show. You must all pitch in and make this happen. If Swap needs to end early or go to Dejero, that would be ideal. Any pre-work that can be done before Swap and after Stupid Morning Bullshit, that would make this transition smoother than it needs to be done. Needs to be done. Interns. Green room needs to be wiped down and vacuumed. We may need to go to Target and buy a new bag. Gift bags are in my office. I have a few new premium ones we can use. See before 1.30 p.m. to get bags ready. Sincerely, thanks. Can we get all four of us out here and do sort of like a cast? Bow real quick. I did it. Yeah. Thank you guys for Thank watching. You. Have a great afternoon. See you next time. Thanks for watching again. Thank you so much. It's a deal. It's a deal.